are so unreal. Look at that rear diffuser. Really, really awesome. We did leave like, uh, you know, kind of a little bit of the dashboard, you know, all the interiors. But this car, meant, you know, it has built to race. You know, that's the, that's the, that's the, the, the unique thing, you know, you know, the unique thing of, of, of how they build race cars. And everything is not only about the straight line speed, you know. Why they build like this is to match the slick tires. The slick tires are if you if you put a slick tires on a on a road on the road version, it's gonna it's not gonna perform as good as on the race car. Built for it. Yeah, because the, you know because of the road where everything is stiffer here, and the suspension are built to run the slick tires. Yeah. The brakes, everything. And uh, so it's a it's a very very like, we we can call it upgrade, but it's kind of no. oh no, it's, it's a not. full race car. Can I sit in it? Sure. Okay. Do I hold that for him? Yeah, sure. Okay, guys, gonna jump in the actual Super Trapeo race car. Wow. Incredible. So as you can see, there is the clutch. Yeah. We use just, of course, to you know to start, and then uh, we are gonna. That's an actual clutch pedal. It has an actual, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you would expect like no clutch, right? Huh? Yeah, well, yeah, because <laughs> I have the street car, so. Yeah, yeah. This is a uh, so then the pedal shift is uh, of course is an uh, is a more aggressive system than the. Two than clutch the, or single? Two clutch. Yeah. Two no, sorry, sorry. Single clutch. Single this. Clutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Single oh, clutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you're at low you're speed, it's like it's exactly, it's got, yeah. Wow. So, um, and then you have a traction control here, and also you can adjust the ABS. So you kind of like all adjustable. Yeah, all adjustable. Uh, start from uh, from one, which is z the traction control at one is like zero. Yep. And uh, I tell you, with a with a race car, you don't want to go zero traction control because when you sp when you spin, when you have a little bit of oversteer, right. you lose time, you lose speed. Yes. Just a little bit is okay when you drive on the edge. You know, we, we call it driving on the edge. But when uh, you have a little bit too much, then you lose speed. So we actually it's very useful the traction control. Adjustable. Yeah, adjustable because it's a very you know it's a, it's a motorsport version. You know, it's a great. So for me to come here, we'll tell we'll tell my audience from myself or someone to come here like Mark did. Funny enough, Mark's from British Columbia. That's where I'm from. Ah, uh, yeah. Mark's from Whistler. Wow. I, I live on Vancouver Island, like a couple wow. hours yeah, away. Wow. Yeah, yeah. We just met. For me to come and get what Mark got done, approximately how how long and how much money? Actually, we start Mark start from like zero, from zero like. Uh, yeah, picture me. That means yeah. zero. Like, you need a, uh, let's say, um, at least three, four experiences on the on a street car. Okay. Yeah. So like that, we start to work on your driving techniques Correct. because we are, we have a really high uh, uh, trained and high level instructors. All of us are race car drivers. And you have to you have to take us and, and unteach us our bad habits. Probably yes. yes. <laughs> I don't want to be. I don't well, we, all, we all have them. I'm 38. I've been driving for 20 years. Yeah, but it's I got a bad habit. you know you 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 don't you you were not born learn. You know we say in Italian yes. that. Yeah. Uh, so it's like uh, you need someone that with experience because I, we start racing when we were like very young, very yeah. very young, and we had a lot of engineers, uh, driving instructors, coaches, uh, drivers, race car drivers yeah. teach us what's the best tactic. So and you can start with the with the, with the street car. Yeah. Is, is the best way to start with. Okay. So how long would it take me to to, do, to go from that and have to get my license so I could race? Or I would just, say, or just come and learn enough to know know how to. Know. To get the license, I would say uh, day track, no more than four or five. Four or five days. Yeah. And yeah. then what would be the cost associated to do all that? I don't know how much Mark uh, spent the thought the thought is is thought about. Uh, Roughly. <sighs> you had to guess like a ballpark. We'll be yeah. Ballpark. It's about thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Yeah. Okay. With thirty thousand, because the actually the te the the training for the for the test, it's the most expensive. But why? Because we don't we don't give the license. Oh, we no. prepare you and the, the IMSA no, official. Party, yeah. Exactly. He the IMSA official uh, comes here, 
and they they just check you yeah. if you're not ready you're not gonna get right. we had a uh, one week ago we have uh, another uh, yeah. licenza yeah. licenza with four drivers three of them got them one no right. you know it's uh it's, it's a real one it's a real test you know it's uh so this yeah. all comes off of course yeah Quick of course yeah just here yeah, yeah you can do it look at that crazy cool so cool in the pit stop we don't normally uh, uh right. take it off it looks like it um it, it has point i'm a big guy i mean i'm not currently built for racing <laughs> i'm like six foot 228 pounds he is much more racer built like my business partner, Oliver, he's... I'm on he's, diet, I'm on diet, just, yeah. just because of that. My business partner is an uh, uh, ex-pro motorcycle racer, so wow. he weighs like 140 yeah. pounds. Yeah. Uh, guys, come and check out Dream Racing. This is incredible. I definitely have to come out and... I can come out and pay to just go f like go for a ride and something like this? Of course. Oh, man. Yeah, that's it's incredible because uh, we have... Uh, very because of the structures because also it's not only about the structures because our experiences start with a very uh, um, very uh, important theory classroom then we go f to the simulator room in the simulator room you're gonna drive the actual track because it's less as can Learning. and more important is that you are starting to work with your instructor so you start to get the connection because right. it's not easy you're not used to have someone telling you what to do when you're driving so that's why it's very important that you have someone that you start to work with your instructor from the simulator session right. there you you get used to have someone telling you what to do and in the racetrack that's why we have uh, people that no without the race uh, race license they can drive this car it's too bad my wife didn't know how to race she tells me <laughs> you're joking i love you yeah. this is incredible luca i'm going to show the guys really quick the camera in here just from my point of view this is what i'm looking at uh guys this is i mean look at this that's a steering wheel that's and the best part about this is you can't have let's do it. turning on the dashboard oh the dashboard yeah you can't have bad hand positioning in this car there is only one spot it's the proper way right here yeah and here you can see of course like this is the basic information that you want to know while you're driving you don't want to add too many information because uh, uh, okay, this is alarm because it's off. So you, you don't you don't want many formations. So you, what what is enough? Of course, is the gear, the RPM here. Then uh, you have for the oil temperature, the water temperature, the ABS setup. You see, yeah. If I if I change it, you're gonna see it. And this is according to the grip condition of the truck and uh, also of the your, the condition of your tires. Then a traction control hole also here. You can get up to one which is off and then also we have a little bit uh, you know it's important to know because our races are very long uh, you have this the fuel used so far so you can communicate with your engineer and tell him okay so far 40 no 29 kilos uh, and so he can uh, kind of uh, uh, calculate when it's gonna be your pit stop right that is so cool and then the rest of this is just I mean this, this is all race car guys the cage is incredible. Just a very thin piece of carbon just to cover this up a little. It's really just for some aesthetics, but other than that, I mean, look at this. Wow. We also have a, a very nice uh, onboard camera. Mm -hmm. with, two, with two cameras, one oh, right here in the front yes. and one pointing towards you. Oh, right. Yeah, and then all the, is, is, a, is a system that records everything, all the information from the car, like uh, the speed, the G-forces, the lap time, uh, everything. So, so these are cameras. Yeah. They record the driver and then also the track, so that you know you can go back and look at how to make adjustments and corrections. Thank you so much, Luca. We're gonna talk. I want to. I, I need to come out and drive one of these cars. It's a must. You want to turn it on? I would love to turn it on. Okay. So let's do all the procedure. Okay. So let's off everything. Yeah. So now you. Put on the brake. So no, okay. oh, okay. like the master on. All right, let's do this. So, this is the master. All right. This, then ECU, which is the ECU main pump. Where's main pump? Here. Then ignition, and then this bottom. Yeah. Wait, like we want to be sure that we are on neutral. Okay. And then, okay, you can uh, hold.
How do we make my car sound like this? <laughs> and then what's off? No, the one, uh, the one? So, yeah. Jeez. Incredible. Wow. These guys have been so accommodating, you gotta come check them out. If you've ever wanted to experience a car like this or learn how to understand what racing is really all about, come see Luca and the team. Thank you, sir. I mean, I need your info. Guys, subscribe to the channel. Check out some of the other crazy shenanigan videos I've done. I'm coming from Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Thanks again to the team here at Dream Racing. You'll be seeing videos of me out here soon enough. See ya.